Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening, going into the Southern Face Shrine. Why? Because I can. Now this place, you can what you, you can do one of two things to handle what's going to happen in this place. You'll need either a bow and arrow, or you will want, or you're going to be using a spin attack with your sword, because there is an enemy here, a large one. Hello. Awake. So anyway, those of you that played uh, Links of the Past will know how to deal with this guy pretty easily. Arrows are his weakness. And there we go. Arrows are his weakness. Like I said, you can attack him with a spin attack from the sword. And I got the face key! I got the face key. And that's not all, though. For Koholent hides many dark secrets. I can't read your Helian, sorry. To the finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? I read the mural. Now, if you're speedrunning, you don't need to read the mural to go to the next dungeon. But, for story purposes, I recommend you read the mural. Hoot, so I see you have read the, the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if, the, if a chest holds treasure until you open it. So you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the Windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday, you will know for sure. Hoot, motherfucker. <laughs> Ow, uh, Kibar Gabar, why'd you go gangster on me? We were doing good so far. Then you went, then you went all ghetto on me. Anyway, kill these guys with your air, with your boomerang on the way out. Easy, really easy money, or really easy restock. But anyway. Now we have to make our way. We have to make our way to the to the actual face shrine. No, I do not wish to have that. I do not wish to have the guardian acorn, though I appreciate your donations to the charity of Ask Kikia. Though I probably won't read it until the project's long over. Are you guys get? Are you guys a little upset of the fact that I'm kind of abusing the fact that Boomerang is godly powerful in this game, instead of kind of weak in every other Zelda game? All you gotta do is say something. To let me know. Come on, just say something. I can't hear you. I'm breaking the fourth wall, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, is that the fourth wall, or is that... Oh, I don't... I don't remember the whole laws of walls thing from ages ago when I read webcomics on a... on a daily basis. Isn't the, isn't the fourth wall just, like, the, uh... I, a concept of breaking, uh... Oh, what is it? Isn't that just the concept of... Just, uh, trying to determine what's, uh... What is fiction and what's reality, and breaking and breaking the separation, or breaking the uh, obvious things that separate those two? I think that's what it is. Anyway, time to put a key in the hole. Boop. Come here, you. Come here, you temple. I wish to explore you. Quite in depth, actually. Uh, yes, yeah, so now something I never did mention, and I've been meaning to mention it for a while, but I just haven't done it, and I'm really bad at it. Monbo's Mambo. It works, it, Monbo's Mambo works much like the Magic Mirror did in Link to the Past. Basically, if you use it at any point in the dungeon, you will warp back to the entrance of the dungeon. Useful and infuriating. Oh, right, these guys. Um. Okay, so Wiz Ropes. They cannot be defeated by sword or anything, but they are... I think their only weakness is bombs. I'm really, I'm really just stunning them, just so I can keep them in place long enough to blow them up. 
You could also use bomb arrows, but I tend to do it this way just because it's a little more reliable. Oh, but the face shrine. And again, I'm starting a dungeon. Hi, rupees. I'm starting the dungeon halfway into an episode simply because it's another one of those really long dungeons. So I'd like to get it done in one go, but I can't. Let's see, are you them? Yep. I can basically destroy everything on the map now with the boomerang, and I'll get fairies from it. Oh, here, have a bamp. Link, give no crap. That's going to be your major tool, by the way, is bombs and the air and the boomerang. Uh, let me see. Now, even though they give you torches in here, again, you can see perfectly fine. I don't know why they do it. Uh, there is another one in here. It's on the other side. Hi. And we unlocked a room. But before I go to that room, I actually want to go up here because there is a key to the north. Oh, these rooms. Actually, what is over here? I forget now. Oh, it's just a stone beak. Or an owl statue. Oh, it's another one of those dungeons to get myself lost in. Hmm. Wow. I am really tired today. Oh, he's big. I don't think I can hurt him. Actually, can I hurt him? I cannot hurt him. I have met my match. Impenetrable foe. Impenetrable FOE. Run. And that's another reason why I want to make sure everything's lowered. Oh. Right. I need bands. Just stay there long enough for it, you to get hit, okay? Alright, that's that. And wow, we have already procured the dungeon item. You've got some more powerful bracelets. Now you can move I can almost lift a whale. Can I lift a windfish? Hmm, maybe. Anyway. You've probably been seeing these statues all over the place in this dungeon. They're the main mechanic of the dungeon. So this is why you can get the power bracelets so early, because, well, let's just say you use these a lot. <laughs> you break doors. You break doors to get rupees, money, keys. Rupees and money are the same thing in the Zelda universe, dude. Br wake up your brain already. Anyway. So you use... Yeah. You use uh, you use everything like this to open doors. Oh. Well, that's going to be stupid in a second. I need my level 2 bracelet back on. You, yeah, you're going to use the elephant statues to open doors, smash through walls. Um. Oh, crap. I forgot. Bombs. Okay. Here, wizard rope, just play with this bomb. I'm going to run away from you. Wow, I hit him, but I can't hit the switch. This is why you always flip the switch. This is why you always flip the switch. Thank you. Thank you for standing still while I did my thing. And I'm going to leave that switch be just in case. Because I have a feeling I won't need it. So yeah, how do you like that? We already have the dungeon item. Like, not even a minute into this. Uh, I need to flip the switches again, don't I? Oh, well, here's something. The comparable ass. Or the compass. Compi. Peanut. That's an old reference. If you get that reference, you get a cookie. Hell, you can have two cookies. You can have, you can have that other guy's cookie because you were so awesome and he wasn't. No, I'm serious. Take his cookie. He owes me 350 anyway. Anyway, you can't see it uh, when it happens, but basically when I hit the uh, bubbles with my boomerang, it turns them into a fairy. Meaning there's a very unlikely chance I will die. Also, remember how a while ago I did I said that we would be able, we would be going to the river course again? You found a secret seashell, number 19. It would be number 20 if you were smart, but apparently you forgot to do you forgot to dash a certain tree that you were right next to. Level 6, the fish shrine. Now we get to play with these. I don't know what the method to the madness of these of these things are. Oh, maybe you just have to bounce them off a wall at some point at some angle. 
But basically, those... Oh, right. I have this. Excuse me. Basically, um, the horse heads, you have to, like, bounce off... A, you have to pick them up and th bounce them off a wall in order to make them stick in the direction you want. I need to go over there. That feels like that's something I need in that room down there. Sorry, it's... It's, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me that there's a treasure chest there if I don't get it now. And it's also now gonna bug me that I can't get back because I've lowered the switches. I can flip them back up, can I? Can I hit them from here? Hmm. Well. I've gotta hit this switch down here. And go back the way I came. Uh, I really wish I could find a way to fix that audio pop problem. It, I mean, you can't hear it very well because the audio is lowered for you guys watching, but for me, I hear it clear as day, and it makes me cringe every time. It's just like, oh, they have to listen to that. Uh, you sick to price. <laughs> wow. I got really angry really quick. Anyway. Boop. Oh, come on. Boop. Uh, sound, please. Stop. I think I'm actually starting to get a migraine from that, from that sound. Anyway, in this room, get your bombs, because there will be more whiz robes. Two. Can I hit you and kill you? Yeah, I can. I can kill everything. <laughs> oh, man, if only I could pull that glitch off again. There was a, um, I'm re I keep referring back to the Link to the, uh, Link's Awakening race I had a while ago with Lucky 70X and Tamal and Slim Kirby, but it was that glitch was amazing when I pulled it off. Just I hit an enemy, but it managed to hit me. So when my boomerang was coming back to me, it caught the whiz robe and pulled it across the room with me while I was taking damage from the whiz robe. It was hilarious. It was mucho hilarioso. Where did I go? map yet. I don't have a map yet. Apparently there is... Oh! The map's in this room, I think. Well, that, that glitch almost happened right there, actually. Map! Thank goodness. Now I think I can go... Now where can I go? Oh yeah, there's that room to the right that the game doesn't want me to know about that I've been in already. I think I actually have to go over to that room. Though I don't know if I can actually reach it. Eh. Shy guy, can you hit that for me? No, you can't. Alright, so I gotta find a way to hit the... Oh, I, can... I know I can hit the switch in this room. Without a wizard. See, do you reach? You might reach, actually. Nope, just that short. Okay. Arrow. And get me my boomerang back. Oh. Except I'll do that. <clears throat> anyway. Did I do it wrong? Yeah, I did it wrong. I hit it one time too many. Uh, let's see. Well, I think I actually... Need to hit it twice. There we go. Now we can move forward. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit on the dumb side right now. Boom. Alright, I'm going down a hole. I'm gonna go die in a pit. Hooray! Oh, and I need to jump. Gotta love dying in pits. Uh, oh, god damn. I swear on your drunk mother. I don't care if she isn't a drunk mother. She will be. Just to make me feel better about myself. Don't question my logic. You know what happened to the last guy to question my logic? Yeah, he's currently in a coma. Take it, take it for me. Don't question my logic. Just for your safety. Don't. Eh, he died. Eh, you died. There's nothing underneath that particular elephant statue, so don't worry about blowing that up. Ow. Well, Goomba, I need to stomp on your head for delicious nourishment. Delicious human heart. 
Now pause of this balanced breakfast. Go, 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 go! Alright, I need my bombs back. Let's see if I can get a twofer. I got a twofer. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, wait, this is just the start of the dungeon. Oh, I go to the right. I'm smart. Well, see, seeing as what time we're at, how about I save the second half of the dungeon for next time? So everyone, I do want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Link's Awakening. And I ask that you join me next time and we'll go to the other half of the dungeon and have fun over here. I shall see you then.